right. Give me one. Yay! Second. The Misfits are finally live. Hopefully, if anyone is hanging out in the chat room, let us know if you can hear us all. We're gonna do a sound off. This is Pete. This is Mike. This is Brian. Adrian. This this is Adrian. And and this is Jay. All right, so hopefully everyone can hear us. If you can't, let us know if you're in the chat room. Um, we're just going to go ahead and do the show, and if you didn't catch it live, then you can catch it on our recorded uh, our recorded post. So is anybody in there? Anybody saying anything? Anybody? Hold on. Um, if, if anything, we can just bring them all back in. I just sent out the notification, so we can just go ahead. Okay. So, Brian, let's just go with where we were. All right. Um, so Brian's going to go over the news, our guest, if you're catching this video. All right, so hey, wait a minute. We had, let, let, let's, let's explain real quick. Uh, for those of you watching this video or listening to the podcast, uh, we had some really major technical issues tonight, and our live episode did not go off on time. I think we fixed everything, uh, so we're starting late, and we're going to try and rush into this a little bit because it's getting kind of late, and I don't want to keep everybody up too late. Um, this is the Mythwits podcast and video web video series. Uh, I'm your host Peter Bryant, and with me tonight is my co-host Michael Kafis. What's that? Brian Olvera. Greetings. Adrian Perez. Hi. And joining us tonight is a special guest, Jay Libby. Jay is with Dilly Green Bean Games. He is an author, writer, and game designer. And he's going to hang out with us and talk superheroes tonight. So, speaking of superheroes, Brian, you had some superhero news. Yes, I do. So, like I said before, our little hiccup, um, the Ant-Man movie's coming out soon. Um, everyone already knows that. Uh, Edgar Wright, who's done an amazing job with Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, Hot Fuzz, his Cornetto trilogy, he's now doing his stab of... Nice. His stab of the Ant-Man superhero. So we already figured out recently that they announced that Paul Rudd was casted as Ant-Man, the protagonist for the film. But <clears throat> earlier today, Verity reported that Michael Douglas was also casted in this movie as Hank Pym, the original scientist who made the serum that lets Ant-Man to be super small and to give him his powers. So... What do you guys think, you know? I mean, it's been a while since we've seen Michael Douglas do any cinema work. Well, he had that little bit of that little cancer issue. Yeah, uh, well, which yeah. He, which he blamed on what? Human papillova... Uh, was it genital warts? <laughs> no, I'm serious. He he, he actually went... I, I remember, I remember. He went on record saying that he thinks he had throat cancer from, from I guess, eating pussy with warts. I don't know. But... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that would knock somebody out for a while. Are um, are you quoting him, or no, are you just? It's uh, totally so, not a not. quote. If it okay, is, just... that's the worst quote ever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, you know what? <laughs> I like Michael Douglas, and according to the you know what I was reading about that article, it stated that um, he was going to be playing an older Hank Pym, and then that mm -hmm. uh, Paul Rudd was going to be playing the younger like uh, I forget what's the hero who takes his place. The um. Scott Lang. Scott Lang. Okay, so he's mm -hmm. he's gonna be playing, and I think that could be kind of cool because there's a lot of Marvel history uh, with with Pym and with Stark and Stark's father, and um, a lot of red content they did. I think it's cool with the movies maybe tackling some of that right off the right off the bat instead of like trying to jump right into Ant Man now, trying to play into some of that backstory. Especially now, since um, we have Ultron. Right. Ult Age of Ultron coming up, and a lot of people who are good comic fans know that Hank Pym had a major... Uh, he did most of the work on building Ultron. Well, I got a question. Are they going to go straight forward and name it Romancing the Ant-Man, or do you think it'll be something like that would be a sequel? Oh my god, they just got the reference. <laughs> Where's the crickets? Where's my crickets button? Crickets. <laughs> I don't know. Hey Jay, what do you think? You're you're a big uh, you're a big Marvel. Yeah, what fan. do you think? Romance in the Ant Man. Make it the first, the title, of the first movie or the second movie. No, I think I think it would have to be the game. <laughs> ah, I see what you did there. Right. Yeah. That is a good <laughs> movie. That is one of my favorite Michael Douglas movies. I mean, I, I think... War of the Ultrons. I don't know. I think. I don't know. It's funny because 
Go ahead, Jay. Oh, no. I think it's good that Michael Douglas is going to do it. They're bringing back all the the A-listers from back in my day, and amen to that. So... Yeah. It's funny, when you said the game, Film Buffs got it, and all the other viewers who are on the internet thought we made a meme reference, and they're mad. (laughs) So half the group is mad, half of them are like, oh yeah, good movie. Uh, I already said pussy (laughs) warts. Come on. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, you're capped. If they're not mad, they never will be. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's just one of the, some of the stuff that was just covered today. Um, NBC is ordering a pilot for Constantine. Ooh. ooh John Constantine. Ooh, that looks Const- good. Yeah. That's something that's interesting. Um, as long as it's not and, Keanu Reeves again, that'd be awesome. I, I, no, what's funny is um, <laughs> I I've, I've, I feel really bad because, you know, the numbers came in for 47 Ronin and they were still not too good. No. Right. Actually, what's funny is there was... This is another part of the news I was going to say. Uh, regarding last week, I was talking about Hercules. And the new movie came out, and it was reviewed. Right. It. I actually think there's only one other movie I can think off the top of my head. It was the worst rated movie on Rotten Tomatoes. What? The new Hercules not one the, with, with The Rock? No, oh, that oh. one's not out yet. Oh, okay. The, there was another one that I was talking about that had some of the... It, it was basically the Immortals. It was the same damn thing. Okay. And um, mm-hmm. two percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Two percent. That's bad. That's really bad. The only movie I know that beat that was Master of Disguise with one percent. Oh, that that was a that, oh, oh, that movie was hard. <laughs> that killed Dana Carvey's career. Turtle, turtle, turtle. <laughs> that was yeah. terrible. Um, that was you know what? Oh, uh, there's there's only there's a there's a, only a few. I actually made it through that one. I can't even believe I made it through that one. I wasted my time with that one. But turtle, turtle. <laughs> right. Yeah, we all remember. <laughs> I could not make it through the medallion. Remember Jackie Chan? Ah, uh, that movie. It was so bad. Yeah. It was like 15 minutes in. I was like, this is such a train wreck. I got up, I took the DVD out of the player, and threw it in the garbage can and went upstairs. Okay, only movie I ever walked out of, and you may disagree, Three Amigos. Hated it! Really? With yeah. Martin Short and it's been, Steve Martin it's been and too long. Chevy Chase? Walked mm-hmm. out of the theater. Hey, Jay likes a movie I hate. Ghost I Rider! <laughs> I feel bad because Nick 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 Cage enjoyed doing it. Oh, he's the only one. No, I'm sorry. What did you think, Jay? Did you <laughs> did you like it, or or did you say it just wasn't as bad as I thought it was? What Ghost Rider? Yeah. Well, if it didn't, who, who's the the chick who hosted the MTV Music Awards? The um, who was in Ghost Rider? She was the goth chick. Oh crap! I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, Goth she kid. killed. She killed the movie for me. Okay. But if you watch like the second one, the second one was completely stupid. It had the right visual effects, wrong story, completely. Really? I didn't even bother watching the sequel. See, I thought that this... yeah, I was going to say, what about Ghost Rider Two, Electric Boogaloo? Was that any better? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you know, the only thing that killed it for me was the uh, the script, the acting, and the writing. I don't know. Other than that, you know, it was pretty good. Oh, the the Ghost Rider, like a, a melting. You know, leather and shit was pretty cool. The, the, the graphic and, effects from that were pit, good. Yeah, the, the, the oh, piss yeah. and fire was awesome. But yeah. then you, but they just, it's what happened. Uh, pretty it's much too like clean. What happened? Yeah. It's too. They're trying to make a rated PG movie for a rated R topic. Oh yeah, yeah. Ghost Rider was so, not. He was not a nice. nice he was not a nice super something. Because he's not so exactly I, a superhero. So I, I just uh, found out something. And Adrian, I, don't, I need your opinion on this because I don't know what what I, what to make of this. But you need somebody's opinion. I'm here. Hold on, hold on now. T- literally, like about 20 minutes ago, this was just announced. 20th Century Fox is going to try and make, I guess, a movie, a feature length film out of. Oh no. This. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I don't know. Oh, oh God, shoot me now. Well, How do you make a movie out of that? Well, well I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to tap this creature for two and discard, discard, I guess. I don't know how they're going to make a movie out of that. How are they going to make a movie out of magic? Here's, here's how I see it. 
Because I got, you know, you got the new game, you know, Duel of the Planeswalkers and all that. There is a story. Yeah, but... Because it's Wizards of the Coast. Remember what happened last time they tried making a movie out of a wizard's property? Dungeons and Dragons? (laughs) Man, that was a waste of Jeremy Irons' time. That and Aragon. Yeah, but the cartoon rocked when we were younger. Actually, I think instead of of actually making a movie, they should just spend the money and making more cards or... Well, no, card. Fox wants to do it, and Wizards is like, okay. Hey, so, you guys won't learn from D&D. <laughs> well, well speak, speaking of D&D cartoon, like, when you were a kid, which character did you want to be? The Cavalier. Those of you who have seen it. <laughs> the Cavalier, man, all the way. Yeah? I don't know. That's a toughie. Ghost Rider on steroids. <laughs> He wasn't in D and D cartoon, the eighties cartoon. Adrian. Oh, uh, we had the Skeleton Warrior in the. Oh, D&D I wasn't alive yet. I wasn't born yet. I did look up the show. He's a ghost rider. Uh, <laughs> What's up, lounge <laughs> singer? Hey, He's a hey. ghost rider. You know, well, actually, I, hey, actually, actually, hey, actually, Cosmo brings up a point. Instead of the movie, they should just bring back the books for the magic gathering stuff. Books. Oh well, they they still do it. They they still yeah. write books and graphic novels. Again, look, man. Look at Fox's record. Whenever it comes to adapting something, just kind of let's turn back the clock. I mean, look, we got the only decent thing they ever did, probably X Men. Fantastic Four was meh. Yeah, I mean, this is twentieth yeah, century Fox. Four could have been way better. I don't know. I, you, you know what? I'm going to move on because this is just turning my head. So <laughs> I see that. Your head's like... Yeah, yeah, I'm just, like yeah, Stevie just, Wondering on us here. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next story, Brian. Next story. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> think I talk like this? <laughs> oh, yeah. Cosby <laughs> clown. Oh my god, so great. We gotta fill oh Jay god. in on that joke, or we gotta fill in on Jay on that joke in a in a minute. Um, so uh. y- you guys know about the Lego Movie, right? Obviously, everyone's seen the trailers. And totally want to see that. I they will. just um, <laughs> they you know how they have Lego superheroes in that movie. Uh, right. You saw Will Arnett is. Uh, is it Will Arnett, Uh, is playing Batman in that, the Lego Batman. Well, the latest commercial just revealed that Channing Tatum is Lego Superman. Ooh. Magic Mike is also the Man of Steel. Well, hello there. (laughs) (laughs) So that was just another one. Um, Let me see here. There was a really good one that I wanted to talk about, because I've... There's this really long laundry list of stuff I, I have headlines I found that would be fun to talk to. Um, all right. So, I... <laughs> nice. nice. So, has anyone seen Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Uh, yes. Oh. yes. Sad, 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 sadly, I haven't had the time. I, I like it. I like die it. Sky. I don't know why people hate it. Die I sky. like the show. <laughs> you may die, Sky. Someone, someone, make her a bloated thing in the game, in the in the show. She needs to go. What What are they saying about it? What's so bad about it? Hold, hold on. Let me get. Let me get to the point. <laughs> I'm gonna get defensive here. It's a good cancel show. the show. No. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let me get to the point. Then. So there's a I new char- there is a new character coming in for a four episode arc. Uh, Agent. Comedic agent John Garrett is joining the cast, like the cast of agents, and the person playing Agent Garrett is none other, none other than Game Over Man Bill Paxton. Huh? So Bill Paxton is going to be in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. for a four-episode story arc. Why don't you put her in charge? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Which, yeah, Who's that? From Aliens. Aliens, remember? What's well, fucking beautiful, man? It's fucking beautiful. How the fuck we do now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, oh well, I thought you were gonna hate on my show. So no, I, I am. Okay. No, I'll, I'll, I'll hate, hate on your show. show. For I you. fucking hate that show. I thought they were gonna bring in Sorry, something Adrian. good, like a writer. <laughs> oh damn! Oh, oh, I'm I'm guess, Michael Douglas. 
Hey, 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 I'm You just pissed off all the Whedon fans, dude. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> His, his, no, he's an agent of Shield. His power chair is actually like a hover chair, like Professor X. It flies. <laughs> hey, you're nice to me. Right. Hey. I was gonna call okay, him. Okay, okay. So I got, I got more. I got more. I got more. All right. So we got news about three films that we know are being made, and they're coming up soon. So Terminator Five, Jurassic Park Four, or Jurassic World, and the Fantastic Four reboot finally have locations and dates of filming announced. So, uh, fa- the Fantastic Four reboot starts filming this March okay. in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. And it's interesting because, you know, they, they actually got the guy who made that film Chronicle to direct it. You know, I haven't seen that yet. Is that good? It's not bad. I liked it. It was a found footage kind of thing, but it was really cool because it was found footage with superheroes mm. and a supervillain, so it was, it was pretty badass. I have a copy you know, of it. Just haven't seen yeah. it. Yeah. To, like, look it up, watch it, it's cool. And then, of course, um, Terminator 5, also known as Terminator Genesis, is supposed to start filming in April. It, it's funny, ironically, in New Orleans. <laughs> so we got Fantastic Four and Terminator all filming in Louisiana. Um, wow. Hey, Let's see. Hey, Mike, you, we, we got some found footage. I, I got some leaked footage. Did you, uh, did you get that loaded up to YouTube yet? Mike, he looks lost. Hello. No, I, I, I think I think we broke Mike. <laughs> Mike, give him give him a second. You having a seizure? This will this will, this will give you time to finish my my news because the last thing, well actually no um so for Terminator Five or Terminator Genesis whatever the fuck you want to call it so Alan Taylor who also did Thor: The Dark World is directing it. Right. Huh? Oh, what's this? I'm sorry. What'd you say? So, Alan Taylor, yeah. the guy who just recently directed Thor The Dark World, right. is also doing the Terminator movie. Ooh. And it's supposed to come out July 1st next year. Right. And, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger is making his comeback. Yes. Um, and then, last but not least... <laughs> Why yeah. are they all filming in... Jesus Christ, they're all filming in Louisiana. Wait a minute. Jurassic Park yeah. 4 is filming in Louisiana June 2nd. That's where gonna, they're going to start filming. So you said Arnold Schwarzenegger will be back? He'll be back. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be back. And what's interesting is they also just recently showed the cast for the new Dress Part movie, and the supposed lead is Chris Pratt, who is in the Lego movie as the protagonist, and he's the protagonist in Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, okay, cool. So it might work out, because I've seen recent photos of him, and he got pretty cut. He got pretty bulked up for that movie. Sweet. To be a sci-fi hero. So he's going to... Fight aliens, Lego people, and dinosaurs All right. within two years. Nice. <laughs> so, aliens, Legos, and dinosaurs. <laughs> so, so Mike, Chris Pratt, I. Mike, I got, I got. Let me cut in here okay. real quick. All right, Chris all right. Pratt. Chris Pratt was in Everwood. If you've ever seen it, you need, you need to see the show. This he played, so it, familiar. Tree Williams. I mean, all the people that are, are making it big now were all in the show as kids. So, yeah. Okay, I'm done. No, that that's fine, but let's see here. Th- that's sad. That's the only name I recognize in the cast. Maybe you guys would know because there's a there's Bryce Dallas, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard. That's his full name. Uh, Jake Johnson, Nick Robinson, and Irfan Irfan Khan. That, yeah, that's, I made a that's... software. Irfan View. Have you ever used it? Oh, never mind. Hmm? Sorry, nothing. It was dumb. That was dumb. It was dumb. I was like, you lost me. Crickets. I'm like Mike. Crickets. No, look, that was dumb. <laughs> let's see so what else we let's got try here. this again. Mike, are you? Can you not hear us? Hello. The system is down. The system Mike? is down. <laughs> Hello, yeah, Mike. I think, I think Mike's having some issues. All right, forget it. He's out. Yeah. Never mind. It's cool. We'll he's wait not till on the show. Yeah. So and now this is going to the comic realm. So just have a drink, Peter. <laughs> yeah, I keep lagging. I mean, it's like I'm freezing up. All right. Do you have the video that we found? Uh, is it loaded onto YouTube? N- no. Can you, you have that? it? 
I, I can try. This is what I've been trying to do on my computer. I don't know if it's my computer or my connection or something. But oh, Jesus fucking Christ, tonight is like nothing. It's like, I wait a minute, is, is it the, the 13th? Internet. It's the 13th, so. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so there. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, you know what? Today is International Skeptics Day. Oh, is it really? Yeah. So, okay. yeah. You got that going for you. <laughs> All right, so you Any... can upload the video. So, so much for that, right? Uh, did you, where is it? I sent it to you on your Facebook. Check your Facebook, and if you can't upload it. No. Hold on. Let, let me mitigate this. Let, let me be the arbiter in this situation. <laughs> All right? So. Tell him I don't use Facebook. I am not a carrier owl. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways. Check your Facebook, and if you can't upload it, just send it to me. Just message, uh, send it to me on my Facebook, and then I'll try and upload it from here. But as I was continuing, so Spider-Man's getting another rewrite. Not the movie, but the comics, because Superior Spider-Man's days are numbered. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. Well, I don't know. This might be interesting because Dan Slott... Um, is going to make it the amazing Spider-Man again. It's going to come back. Peter Parker is back in April. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. It's the same you... stuff that always happens. Nobody ever friggin' dies. Oh, Spider -Man, Spider-Man's dead. No, he isn't. Okay. Oh, yes, he is. He's no, dead. no, no. We're Gwen getting... Stacy did die. Gwen Stacy did die. She's not a superhero. That was his girlfriend that he killed by accident, man. It was man. Like a million years ago. Come on. They never killed Peter, anybody. you were my age when that graphic novel came out. What does that say about you? They don't... They don't <laughs> oh, oh, That's man. called the good era of comic books right there, man. Exactly. Back when they knew how to Why do you write think them? I traveled back in time to read Frank Miller stuff? Anyways. Ooh, burn. Jim Starlin all the way, man. The hell of Miller. I like hey, I liked that story, all right? The Dark Knight Returns is a good story. It's okay. We won't hold it against you. Dark Knight Returns? Yeah, but, 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 you you but you do admit it's decent. You do admit it's a decent book. <laughs> Actually, I haven't read it, so... Read it. I didn't... I didn't, <laughs> I, 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 I I didn't do... No, I, I'm, I'm serious. Read it. Look, especially since we got Batman vs. Superman coming out. I'm telling I'm, everyone I'm who's watching DC. this right now. I'm not DC, man. I'm, I'm a Marvel either. guy. Me neither. I went, Batman and Superman is all I will touch. Maybe Green Lantern, but if Jim, if Jim Lee writes it and does the art for it, I touch it, which is how I ended up at DC with Batman. But that's the only time I ever crossed over until Jim Lee did Wildcats and everything I, else. I so. like to touch Jim Lee. <laughs> hey Jim Lee. Hey Jim Lee rocks, guys. I'm yeah, sorry. No, 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 I agree. He's, he's, he's Mark, Mark Sylvester. Mark Sylvester with Jim Lee. If their name's on it, I'll buy it. Won't even think twice. Yeah. I like Miller. What if it's Photoshop? <laughs> it like, can be like, Poser again, and I'll again, buy it. Like I said, um, it's a good. I'm just saying, I, I recommend it. It's a four. It's a four. It's a four book arc. You can get it for twenty bucks at any comic shop. Um, just give it a read, or at least get the movies, the two part mo movies, because that's what that's that's also what recently came out as well as um, they took Frank Miller's book and literally animated. it scene for scene, they got it almost down to the letter. And it's amazing. I mean, freaking Peter Sellers is Batman. Robocop is an old Bruce Wayne that's cut like a stone. No, I mean, DC, DC can do animation sweet. If anything, I, I recommend animation for your kids. Yeah. For yourself, they're pretty good. I mean, I Did you see the uh, Paradox Flashpoint movie? No, no, no. I, I, I'm like a little bit behind on them because I've been trying to get some other stuff done. I have no time to watch anything outside of my normal realm. Right. If I were to say any of out of those two, watch The Dark Knight Returns as soon as you can. Especially since that movie's going to definitely put things in perspective for what we're supposed to see in Zack Snyder's new flick. But um, another, another bit of comic news. So Dark Horse is relaunching Alien, Predator, and AVP. They're relaunching those comics, and um, they actually just came out with some interesting cover art um, because they're also including uh, Prometheus hmm. in the story arcs. Mm. 
um, Prometheus is in it because they've just done all the number one issue cover art. All the art for issue one for Predator, Prometheus, Alien, AVP, they're all done. Right. And I'm about to screen share that in a second and show you guys because these are really cool. Okay. Let's see here. Let me scroll back up here. So obviously there's the um, a small sample of the AVP cover. <clears throat> um, let me scroll down to the original Alien cover. Oh, yeah, I saw I love, this. This is nice. I love this cover, especially since it's the actual, the the urn or the jar from Prometheus. It's that same kind of jar she's holding uh, in that cover by David uh, Palumno. And then, of course, down here is the Predator cover. I like that one. W what do you think about that one? I like that. That's pretty badass. Yeah. And then, of course, we got the crossover fight one. I'm not sure. What is that exactly? What is that dude being surrounded by aliens? Is that just like a regular dude? Well, if you look at a real... Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can expand that image. It's just like Pinhead on a little bit. <laughs> if you look carefully, he's actually turning into a xenomorph. Okay. His skin is actually being melted and torn, and it's revealing the uh, same black toned skin as a xenomorph. And what's interesting is if you look on the cover, if you look on the left and right... Those actually look more like the creatures that you see at the very end of Prometheus that they call the Deacon. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. They look more like the Deacon than Xenomorphs. Oh, right, right. Hmm. That's that's what I've noticed. And then, of course, we got the Predator, all badass. That badass Jamaican from outer space. <laughs> <laughs> true that, man, true that. <laughs> and then, of course, the Prometheus cover. Right. I love that. That's such a good. I just, I love conceptual artwork like this when it's almost watercolor based. It yep. it has that watercolor vibe to it. Yep. That's that that's something I always love to see, especially in cover art. Um, let's see here. So let me just end that little screen All share right. session. So hey, Brian. Yeah. We should get to Jay. Yeah. Fair enough. We got our guest. I'm good. I'm just chilling. No, no, no. Let's let's talk no. about Jay stuff. All right. So Jay, you uh, you're not looking. I don't know if you're looking at the stream, the live stream that we have, but I've, I've got your Dilly Green Bean Games uh, logo up. I've had it up for a while. So tell, why don't you tell everybody what Dilly Green Bean Games is? It's a small publishing company that uh, Jason Emmerkanian and I started back in the early 2000, and it just picked up since. It was on cruise control for a while because um, I went and did work for Artel Sorian with Blix and then went to grad school, got done, and started working on more games again, and then freelanced out on the side, so. That's cool. Now, this all, I mean, honestly, all your stuff starts, you, you're a superhero buff, right? So you, Jay's a big role player, and, and from my, from what I remember, you started, you're, now, like, I started with D&D. &D. Um, I think, Mike, you started with Cyberpunk, didn't you? Uh, Cyberpunk slash uh, Tritech, yeah. so. So, but, but Jay started with, you started with superheroes, didn't you? Yeah, Marvel superheroes. Yeah, so so Jay's always been like a superhero guy, um, and and like your big product that's coming out, um, and you and Jay, you and Jason Ameri American, how do you say his name? Americanian. Americanian. He was a big uh, uh, superhero role player as well, wasn't he? Oh, big time. We spent entire weekends playing Marvel superheroes, no sleep, Dilly Green Beans and iced tea. Right, and um, so so Jay and I got. We started doing like more professional stuff. Uh, started getting really involved with the professional stuff, working as an artist with Cyberpunk. I think it was our big. Wasn't our first big kind of real push yep. into the into the whole industry? But since then, and I'm gonna show the logo for uh, for G Core Deluxe. Since then, Jay's released a really uh, really awesome product, and it's, it's getting a lot of. Uh, I think it's one of the ones that got the most traction. Is your uh, is your G Core right? Is that right? Yep. So why don't you tell us a little bit about G-Core and what, what, how that came about and what that is. And... Well, at one point, I think Phil Reed from maybe Mongoose, I'm not sure which company he's affiliated with, did this 4C ransom type thing where he crowdfunded, he put out 4C. It was supposed to be like the modern take on Face Rip, which is the, the classic Marvel system. It didn't go anywhere. I got frustrated because I've been trying to do something like that. been doing it for like almost a decade. Couldn't get the right thing. And finally, one day, sat down. So I'm just going to do it like this. In 20 minutes, I typed up the G Core base rules, and I released it. And within the first week, I sold 100 copies. Hmm. And so we just, I stuck with it, put out a product once a week for, I think, 
three weeks before I ended up in the hospital, and then as soon as I got out, right back to <laughs> right back to putting out one, one a week again. And right. Jay, I got bad news for you. It, it was me. I, I bought a hundred copies. I felt bad for you. <laughs> hey, that's fine, man. I don't care who buys them. Fans want them. Even one fan, I'll make them make them for you. Right. No, but yeah, I've seen a lot of traction. I mean, I've seen a lot of other people comment on this. Like of all the products, because Jay puts out stuff all the time. I mean, Jay Jay's one of the most prolific friggin' uh, producers around. I mean, he, you know, some of your stuff is only what a couple pages, but it's like every week he's putting out something. And then you had that. I try. You, you had that game contest with uh, uh, Dave Dave Simpson. Yep, Nighthawk Games. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the games. <laughs> Some of the games that came out of that. Dave Dave had this game called Tug of War that my wife bought off of him for like twenty five cents at a convention, and it oh, set yeah. Dave on it set Dave on this like this big quest. So as a joke, I challenged him to do do these like rapid fire games, like one a week, and we had games like Clogger where you roll this get the shit down the down the sewerage pipe without plugging it. We had games like Wrath of God where one player plays a Romans going up the hill, the other player going up the hill to, to dismember Jesus, and they have a, the other player as God casting a lightning. I mean, just blasphemous stuff that we were throwing together. <laughs> and by the, time I got, by the time we got done, I mean, I had people that wanted to burn me at the stake. I mean, it was just completely ridiculous stuff that he and I threw together. So, um, so Clark, how, how many of those did you sell? I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. Maybe five. <laughs> so you did sell some, though. I, I should take it to games. I should take it to Games Crafter with a new board and try to sell it there as a board game. I bought all five of those too. Sorry. <laughs> but but uh, back to back to G Core. Um, so that, that's basically that's the Marvel role playing game, uh, like a newer version with a lot of stuff that you've added to it, right? I mean, it's like yeah, we did, we completely dumped the table and made it so you can you use it without a table. Use it with a regular D10, which works as your percentile die, and everything. Just it's all been mainstreamed. Um, I'm actually working on G Core Prime right now, which will take character generation and make it even simpler than it was before. You can make characters in probably about 10 minutes in G Core. G Core Prime, you can do it in probably I want to say five. Okay, but if you like, from what you were saying, you could literally take a a Marvel superheroes character and just play you with can that character. You can. Right? Give, 99% compatible. Wow, so that's pretty cool. So all, all the hmm. source books out there, you can totally use them with, with G Core. Now, um, so does this tie into, and I'm, I'm going to pull up the image of Chronicle, Chronicle Double Zero. Does that have anything to do with, with G Core, or is that, um, or, or any of the Guardian, is that, is that Guardian Universe stuff? What, what is that exactly? No, Chronicle Double Zero was supposed to be a prequel to a Xenomorph Invasion game I wrote way back when you and I first started. Okay. Um, it was a cyber. It was a cyberpunk piece that I wasn't going to touch. I used G Core to power it, G Core Grit, and um, I was working on it, researching it for about a year, and then because Mike Pondsmith hadn't been in the picture because he he was teaching for DigiPen, and he calls me one day. He said, "Jay, I'm coming back," and I just felt shit myself because here I was it playing in a sandbox because I didn't think he was going to be coming back, and he came back and said, "I'm you know this is what we're doing." I was like. And I had to call him back and, and tell him what I was doing and say, look, if this isn't okay, I'll stop. If it is okay, I got I want to finish it. So he gave me rules that I couldn't couldn't break on that, and he let me put it out. So I have this massive G core cyberpunk style game with the alien twist that I had from Chronicle from. Xenomorph Invasion. So, so, so guys, uh, Brian, I think you might have mentioned this uh, a couple weeks ago. The the cyberpunk game, or maybe it was somebody else, but have you seen the cyberpunk video game that's coming out? Uh, which one? Uh, it's coming out of a group from Poland. 2075. It's the same guys who did The Witcher, right? Yep. Yeah, that one I know. Um, I, th I think it's like I think it's just called Cyberpunk 2070. Yep. All right, so that's Mike Pondsmith. That's who we're talking about with cyberpunk fame, and this is uh, J Chronicle Zero is is kind of it's not the same thing. It's but it's sort of playing in the same pool, right? Huh. It's in it's in the sandbox, <laughs> right? Right. But but Mike uh, Mike and and Jay work pretty closely. I mean, you you talk to Mike all the time. Yeah, I I used to think I worked for Mike, and then Mike informed me I was his friend and and a. What? What? Hold on. Nothing. Nothing. It's it's ready when you need it. Don't 
Don't worry about it. Okay, because everything went mute for a second. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Technical issue. Yeah. Oh. So so Mike's been really Mike's been really cool to me. Um, he got my daughter into my youngest daughter into Gundam, so we've been playing this Gundam minis game that he plays that he had introduced me to, and it's turned into this massive phenomenon at my house. Watching Gundam, playing it. Um, we've been play testing some of the rules that he talked about for Mechton Zero. So I'll be running an unofficial demo at SnowCon this weekend. Mm, cool. And at TotalCon, I'll be running an official demo, You all using the Gundam stuff that we already had on hand. So Cool. Hey. But uh, Mike, Mike's pretty cool. We got, uh, we got some, some breaking news. We, got, uh, we found some footage. Some, some uh, <laughs> footage, for, for I'm serious, for Guardians of the Galaxy. Some, some leaked footage. Now, there's, there's, no, uh, there's no sound effects. There's no like, uh, CG on this. Is this uh, yeah, a B-roll kind of thing, a B-roll yeah, footage? Yeah, dude, this is, this it, is pretty it, cool. Almost like Ooh. C-roll. It's almost storyboard, but uh, oh. we were able to get our hands on it. All right, so hold on. I'm going uh, I'm gonna switch mic. Let's uh, yeah. pull up the YouTube there. You guys pull up your YouTube. Yeah, I'll let you control it, all right? All right, so here, here we go. This is, this is pretty awesome. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. My Herald, I hunger. Whoa, yeah, dude, I'm going to get you a planet. I'll find you the most perfect planet in the whole wide world. Oh, surf away. Oh, yeah. Oh, surf here, surf there. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, I think I found a planet. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Ooh. Oh, whoo. yeah. Ooh, I found a planet for you. Is it good? It's got lots of life. Lots of life. Yeah, the super surfer found it, baby. Yeah. I shall go to this world and I shall feed, <laughs> for Galactus's hunger is great. Oh. <laughs> oh, Galactus is finally here, a world I can eat from and consume its cosmic energies. Yes, for Galactus hungers. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> It's, it's <laughs> Pony World! I can't eat a Pony World! Th this is no workable! Hey yeah. everybody, look, it's Glide this week! Wanna come on play? Yeah, Pony time, fun time! It's friendship with magic! Oh yeah! Alright, we have a new friend! Come on, Glide, just come on play! I don't think so! I need a new Herald! I need someone to replace that slack on the sofa! Oh. <laughs> Later that day. Uh, yay! I'm the new. Oh, new surfer! I can't stand it more! Go! Surf in the safe ways! Cause pony time! I'll find a new world to spread oh pony God. magic! Oh, look! And I've even changed Galactus! He's. I'm happy! I like ponies now! Let's find more ponies for my hunger! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> oh god. I'm getting cramped. Oh god. So we got uh, we got that B-roll. So. <laughs> It's, it's a little rough, but you know, I think when they put the sound, no yeah, shit. The, the sound in and the, and the CG, I think, I think you know, it'd be pretty badass. Now, oh I didn't know God. Galactus was going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy, but hey, you know, pretty yeah. badass. Who do you think is going to play him? We, you know, who's uh? I vote to watch it again. I, th <laughs> <laughs> I think Jay should play Galactus. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good oh role for you, Oh my god, Jay. I'd love that. <laughs> so, yeah, Jay, give us your best Galactus imitation. Let's see. <laughs> it might sound familiar. Let's see. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't know if I can do that, guys. <laughs> oh, I think you can. Take a stab at it. <laughs> I hunger <laughs> right, for the world. Hmm. Wait a minute, you don't, you don't suppose that... That, that nah. Video? Nah. Okay. Right. I want that video, please. <laughs> well, that's good. It's gonna be part of the show from here forever. <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit, Jay, that was awesome. So, what? 
what sold it was the look on Galactus's face. <laughs> that dopey expression. I like Pony it. now. <laughs> yeah, I sent, I sent oh Jay a message God. yesterday, or well, a couple days ago. I said, you got to put together a video for us of Galactus versus the ponies, because he's done a couple of these videos <laughs> in the past. And, oh, my uh, God. So I thought that would be pretty funny. <laughs> something tells me that's not going to be the last one we see. No. I'm waiting for a sequel. No. There's something, to, something telling me sequel. there's going to be more. There's a sequel definitely in the works here. I can do that. Oh, my God. I wonder if he's going to he's gonna run into the Dark Knight somewhere. I could do that one, too. <laughs> I, might, I might actually have Dark some Dark Knight ponies. Oh, maybe. Dark Knight. Maybe. Dark Knight ponies. Oh, Where's man. Rambo Dash? <laughs> Talk to me. Hold up, hold up. I got the perfect photo for that. Hang on. Oh god. Oh boy, hold Hang on. on. You can do a screen uh, share. Yeah, give me a second. Let me see if I can bring it up. All right. So while you're I'll, while you're I'll working on it, the, do you want me to cue uh, the yeah. uh, Tom Merritt video, or do you want to just save it for next week? Um, I don't know. You guys want to watch a, a video? Oh, look at that. <laughs> God. Right. Oh my god. So do you guys want to watch a video from a con or should we want to save it for next week? Let's I'm see. up for anything. You want to save it, Brian? Sure. Uh, we'll I'll watch it, yeah. Are you ready I was going to I was going to I was going to mention the uh just another like movie thing popped up, uh, like another see. movie news just um so <clears throat> There might be some new stuff coming up online tomorrow regarding Godzilla because they were there was a Canadian uh, entertainment show. I, actually, I think it's uh, Entertainment Tonight, like a Canadian branch of it. Right. They were just interviewing Brian Cranston about it, so there might be a chance we get some sneak peeks. Uh, hold up! Tomorrow. Hold up! Hold up! Godzilla. Zero. Cool. See, my, see, Jay's got Marvel. I've got this. Godzilla. This is my thing. <laughs> oh, Jay likes Godzilla too. Yeah, wow. yeah, we'll see, man. Yeah, hey, I got this. Jay, Jay's a Godzilla nut. Oh man. So, um, before we Brian, go, we get along great if you look closer, man. <laughs> before we get on, to uh, well, anything else, my Skype number. <laughs> um, it's real quick, Jay. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Any other products you're doing, or anything else you want to you want to mention um, that you've done that you want to you want our, our listeners to uh, check out? Yeah, um, come to the TotalCon, come to SnowCon. SnowCon's this weekend in Bangor, Maine. TotalCon is um, end of end of February or something. Yeah, it's uh, uh, the, the twenty something. Hold on. Yeah, it's, it's the end of it's 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 the end of February. So it's... Uh, pick up my pick up my card game World War Sheep on Games Crafter. I'm also working on a a Fancy Star tribute. Style box set using the fusion system, which will be the first, I think, the first fusion box set of its kind. So, I've got a whole bunch of stuff already done for, it, and I just hope it, the box holds all my stuff because I <laughs> cut the number of cards. Man, it is sick. What I, you know, what I thought was funny is that wasn't that one of the ones where you went, you went to Game Crafter. You're like, I love these boxes. I want to put something in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Jay, yeah, Jay got me. I was like, hey, I want to put something in one of these Game Crafter boxes. So now I need to design something, guys. What should I design to put in these boxes? <laughs> you challenge me, and I shall make it. Cool. And all right. So before we go any further, where can we find Dilly Green Bean Games and Jay Libby and all that goodness? You can find Dilly Green Bean Games at www.dillygreenbeangames.com or you can find me at House of J on Facebook and that's my fan page. And you which have a, you have a have. Dilly Green Bean Games page on Facebook too, don't you? Yep, I have a Dilly Green Bean Games page, G Core page. Um, you can get my products at Drive Through RPG and RPG Now. You can get any of the books I've written at any bookstore via order or you can just get them on Amazon. Um, I don't think you can get the Doctor Who Aliens and Creatures book anymore. I think that's out of print. But. Oh, that's right. You worked on that. That's right. You worked on a Doctor Who product, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, I forgot about that. But but I would say that one of the Jay's best works is basically just Facebook. So just find Jay on Facebook. He's a good read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
But you and should start Twitter. We you will be doing. Twitter. We will be doing Jay's. You know what Jay is thinking on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> you get me fired from my. You get me fired from my job. No, no, well, posting, well, buddy. It's only what you post. <laughs> I'm serious. You should start a Twitter. <laughs> just make a Twitter account. Just Jay's world. <laughs> well, we, we are we are in talks with Jay currently. Mike and I have been have been talking to Jay, and we're trying to figure out exactly how the format's going to work. But we we want we want Jay to be a contributor to this show. So. Uh, yeah, we just we've been busy with all the background stuff, and as you can, as you as tonight was an example, we're still working on our uh, technical aspects. I thought, our hurdles. Yeah, I thought thought we had that all figured out, but apparently not. Um, yeah. Uh, but anyway, so so Jay Jay's a really good guy. He puts a lot of stuff out, and Jay's prices are unbeatable. Like Jay, what are, what are you selling? Uh, what are you selling Chronicles Double Zero for? For the first time ever, I've actually I think it's like selling for like ten bucks $10. because it's. Yeah, a whole ten dollars are insane. But my, but my, but for two hundred and forty something pages of material, that's pretty good. Yeah, right. My G core stuff, I usually sell for like a buck twenty five. Even the core rules for like five bucks. Right. If it's in print, if if it's in print, I don't even make a profit from it because I, if I've sold it as a PDF, I've already made what I'm going to make from it, and I'll put it in print at a low enough price that my fans don't end up paying out their out their butts for it. And then if they buy it in print, I'll give them the PDF for free. I don't. Yeah, it's Jay, not gonna matter either way to me. Jay's You've got is, a lot of fusion stuff out too, right? Yep, and more fusion stuff is coming. Wow, we should do another. Yeah, we're, well, um, the the adults only games I ran with fusion mm -hmm. expect some expect a game from that okay. very shortly. But well, yes, Flix, and that perverted too. We're we're talking the whole nine yards. Well, we should we should do a uh, we should do a yearbook this year. What do you think? Let my get Gundam Gund uh, Mechton Zero out first before before I do that. Okay, that's fine. Because otherwise, I, I hate I hate treading on the on uh, on my friend. No, that's fine. <laughs> I like the I like the place, but we need to get a, we need to get the fan base going again. I think after Mechton Zero comes out, I think that the fan base will grow back up again. So right, and then we'll have more games to do. Like we can put a Mechton Zero supplement in there, a fusion, you know, like just a regular fusion supplement, maybe. I don't know, maybe a, yeah. a Chronicle. Uh, well, Chronicle, Chronicle's not fusion-based. No, that's, no, no. I'll have something fusion. I always have fusion stuff sitting there. All right, well, we'll, like, we'll, we'll talk. You know how it is. We'll talk. Your people you know, talk about people. You know, out of topic, something makes me want to go watch My Little Pony. <laughs> God damn it, Jay, it's, look what you've done. It's not going to have Galactus, though. Look what you've done! Mm -hmm. I've got ponies on my shelf too, somewhere. I think, yeah, right at the top there. Woo, right. I will say this. I, I, I tried. I tried watching it. I tried watching it because I was like, okay, what is so fucking interesting about this show? And you know, I luckily I had an ex I had a fun little scapegoat to watch it because I have a five year old goddaughter. Yeah, that's, that's what I use. Right. <laughs> Don't make me show the pictures, man. <laughs> check, out, check, check, mm -hmm. check out Bronies on Netflix. It's a documentary about, about My Little Pony fans. Why am I not surprised? That, 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 it's, you, know, you know what's funny is um, Get how out quickly... Get out your beach when, when when I, when so you can start clapping. <laughs> Here, here's what I have. Here's what I gotta say, real quick, because I did, I was gonna say a, a new uh, a, something just came up like breaking news, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Um. So first of uh -oh, all, Jay's in the dark now. Uh oh. Anyways, um, it's it's funny how as soon as a new pop culture comes out, bam, documentary is already on it. Yeah, no doubt. It's it just it's it's just hilarious because I I've seen every type of pop culture. I've seen it all. I've gone to all different kinds of conventions that are pop culture. I've seen. I've met them all. I've met the stereotypes, the bad apples in that basket. Right. And so you've been to the so you've been to the parrot head convention. Parrot head. <laughs> parrot head. Actually, pop culture. What? Man. All pop culture. <laughs> oh my god! You don't know parrot heads? What's a parrot head. Sorry, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Cheeseburger I, 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 and paradise. I, 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 I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to send you some swag, man. I, I've beaten on you too much today. No, that's no, that's that's fine. I take I take, those, I, I take those punches like a man. I'll take them on the chin. So do I. 
<laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> but well, what I just recently found out is there's a rumor the reason they're cramming all these heroes in Man of Steel 2 or Batman vs. Superman is because they're filming Justice League alongside it. Ooh, really? That is the rumor right now. That's oh. why we're getting Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern, and all this shit is because apparently they're doing Justice League at the same time. Like they're filming alongside with Man of Steel 2. Oh, no doubt. Huh. So that's... We'll see. I guess we have an explanation. Now we know why they're trying to cram all these superheroes in this project. It's because they're filming Justice League on the same same path. All but, right. And they're gonna they're gonna have to call it scanners in the end. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I remember that from scanners. Mm. Okay, guys. So I think we should uh, we should hit the hit the end of this show because it's it's getting a little late. We still got the game to do, and I don't want to go too long. So. Are you guys ready to play a game? Yay! We actually have an audience. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so All I'm right. gonna get this game ready because Mike sent me the uh, sent me the file a little bit late, so I'm gonna have to bring it in. As you guys, bear with me. Yeah, because you weren't busy before oh, getting no. the show ready. Not at all. Not not, <laughs> not busy at all. Uh, what, are you, what are you trying to get at? What, what, <laughs> I'm merely stating facts, sir. <laughs> okay, so those at home are going to see this. See me, how I set this up, which is fine. Oh, Ooh. Down. Boink. There we Little go. secret sauce. Yeah. Bruce and we said hi, guys. What's up, Bruce? Hey, Bruce. <laughs> All right. So I have the, I have the questions up in the window. Um, for the audience to see, but Mike is going to read us the questions. You guys get ready to write down your answers. Mike, you got everybody got something to write with? Possibly. Uh, Wait a second. Yeah. Hold on. Let me take it into my wonder drawer. I got an eraser, a metric ton of magic cards, and I'm going to turn this over to Mr. Kafis. All right. So. I'll do this. My bandwidth all night has been like crap. So if I cut out and I'm reading and all of a sudden I just crap out, just take over, okay? Ian? Okay. Pete? I got it. Um, okay. So we are doing a Cube of Death session tonight, and it is, uh, God, what is the theme? Oh, superheroes. Right. That's right. <laughs> right. Superheroes. Right. <laughs> Dive in with the first question. Everybody ready? If everybody's ready. And wrap the paper. Now I'm ready. Alrighty, let's do this. All right. So, how, uh, do you want to? Uh, let's clarify something here, Pete. Do you want to read each question, do the answer, and then go on to the next, or no. are we going to do all questions? Let's okay, do all the doing questions. all questions. All right. First question. What city does the Flash operate out of? That question, once again, what city does the Flash operate out of? Yeah, and the hospital with the extra credit. Yeah. Okay. Answers locked in? Mm-hmm. All mm -hmm. right. Question numero do so. What substance makes up spawns body and gives him his core powers. What substance makes up spawns body and gives him his core powers? Powers. Powers. That's what I said, boy. I said powers. 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 Per. Per. Now, are we ready for number trace? Yep. All right. Here's the question. This green-skinned Image Comics superhero first appeared in his self-titled issue number one, July 1992. His powers include super strength and an advanced healing factor. Let me read that again. This green-skinned Image Comics superhero first appeared in his self-issued self-titled issue of number one on July 1992. His powers include super strength 
and an advanced healing factor. Factor. Mm. Numero quattro. What is the name of the sun that Krypton used to orbit? Oh, crap. And, uh, and none of that trick question crap, okay? We're not talking about alternate universes where Krypton still exists and it's altering another <laughs> sun and they blah, blah, blah. No. The name of the sun that Krypton used to orbit. And the final question. What is Cyborg's real name? Is it DC <laughs> Cyborg, right? The Cyborg, yes. And what I'm going to do is uh, if you've gotten the right answer, there's a double damage question to this. So if you know the answer to that, the next question you can get two extra points if you can name these two other this this name these two other things. What is his two what are his two team affiliations? One point for each of the cyborgs team affiliations. Okay. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> and he froze doing that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it looks like he's choking himself. <laughs> he totally froze. Oops. Oh my god, he is still frozen. Here, wait a minute. I'm going to leave that up because it's funny. Oh. Oh, that's not great. Here I am. Okay. Oh, he's back. <laughs> So, what city does the Flash operate out of? Who are you gonna? What what order are you gonna go? Well, with? I oh oh well before I froze when I was frozen, I had said Adrian, who I see to me seems frozen, but maybe or uh, oh, he's good, muted. He's good. I'm muted because I don't want to be like moving around and you're like. <laughs> All right, so Adrian, yeah. freaky date. Yes, that was not right. Sorry. Uh, no. What is the Flash? What city does the Flash operate out of? You asking me? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, so I guess Central City. Okay. Uh, well, we're not going to reveal the answer until not we get yet. all of them. Go ahead. Right. So, uh, Brian. I was going to say Central City as well. Okay. I haven't read a Flash comic in a while, but. Okay. And uh, you, the new guy. <laughs> F the new guy. Jay, that's you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, star. I don't read the Flash. So Star City. All right, and Peter. I was saying Star City as well. Okay, so those of you who said Star City. Oh. <laughs> Uh, those of you who said uh, Central City, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, number two. Uh, can somebody else keep score for me? I'm doing it right now. Okay, thanks, Pete. All right. So uh, let's go. We'll still go in the same order. Adrian, what substance makes up Spawn's body and gives him his core powers? Uh, it's not burritos. I have no idea. I'll just. It's uh, not burritos. I don't have no idea. <laughs> okay, I'll say burritos. I, burritos. I didn't say what gives Adrian his core powers. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Jack Daniels that gives him his powers. Yes. Oh, really? Needs. No, good. All right. So Adrian says burritos. All right, Brian. Going with burritos. <laughs> no. Necroplasm. All right, and. What did you just call me? Senior Dilly Green Bean. Necroplasm. Damn it. I'm thinking uh, necroplasm. No, I'm... I'm thinking necroplasm's right, but I wrote Hellfire. That's Ghost Rider, dumbass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. So mean. Yeah. Those, those who said burritos and Hellfire. Oh. <laughs> See, it looks like if you watch Ghost Rider, you know that one. I probably would. 
Oh. And those who said uh, necroplasm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, we're going to go in the same order again for this next one. The green skinned image comics superhero first appeared in his self titled issue of number one in July of 92. His powers included super strength and an advanced healing factor. Factor. Mr. Perez. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Up <laughs> oh, and Mike is frozen again. Yes. Oh, well, there he is. He's back. So okay. let's go with see Brian and Brian. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. All right, Brian. Oh Image Comics. Green. Big green Might guy. as well play the sound bite again because I got nothing. Uh, how about this one? Uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Dilly Greenbean. Savage Dragon. And uh, Pete. Yes, sir. Savage Dragon. <laughs> we'll say that's a positive. <laughs> All right, Adrian. What is the name of the sun that Krypton used to orbit? Orbit. 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 Like the gum. And when they got hungry, they would eat some yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> Rail, something like that. Rail, rare, whatever. I don't know how to say it. Uh, could you I spell that? It. Uh, R A O, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Brian. You, the guy with the hat. Brian. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> uh, shit. Shit. Uh, is that your <laughs> no, final I answer? Nothing. No, I got nothing. Good. Okay. <laughs> and yes, Mr. Dilly. No freaking clue. No freaking clue. Hmm. I wouldn't even sign that. Right. Okay. Peter. That is Ryo. R A O. All right. So I'm going to give it to. Uh, I'm going to give it to you and to uh, Adrian. So, well, this is your winner. Okay. Okay, and then to you other losers. Fatality. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to win this one. <clears throat> it's not looking good for yours truly. Okay, well, you never know. You know, you could get three points out of this double damage question. I if seriously you... doubt it. Okay. What is the cyborg's real name? Mr. Adrian. Bill. <laughs> Bill? Okay. Brian. Brian! I, don't know. I got nothing. I got nothing. Is that all one word, or is that like I and then God is his middle name? Is it like Will I Am? I got nothing. <laughs> IG, IG nothing? Or no, IG nothing. <laughs> I love how Mike's face freezes right at the right moment. It's awesome. <laughs> yes, I just noticed that. <laughs> All right, so Jay. I, I don't know. You don't know who he is? I thought you would know that one. Yeah, he's got all these DC ones. I don't read DC. All right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. All right, so I got Jay's. He said nothing. And then okay, mine. I didn't know either. So I said Jimmy Walker. Jimmy <laughs> Walker. <laughs> he's not a mate. <laughs> oh God. Uh, no, that would be Victor Stone. Now that freaking episode makes sense. Stone. Uh, All right, so we have Mike. Yes. Is anyone tied? Four-way tie. (laughs) Are you kidding me? (laughs) Wait, wasn't there uh, uh, another part of that question with Cyborg? Yeah. Uh, Okay. Oh, so you don't know his name, but um, does anyone know what what his two affiliations were? I might have it. Yeah. What? I might have it. Teen Titans and 
The Teen Titans and the Young Teen Titans. Titans. <laughs> it, it's Teen Titans and I believe Titans East. Okay. Uh, right. Anyone else care to chime in? I'll chime in. Justice League and Teen Titans. Uh, there we go. We have our winner. Titans. Yep. Jay's the winner. Our guest won. Yay! Yay! As it should be. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> nice. Good job, Jay. Yeah. All right, all right Mr. Soundboard. I'd almost feel stupid if I didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> it was a superhero guest who doesn't know superheroes. Right. Sorry. So, Jay, uh, we're going to wrap this show up, but what, is, what are you looking forward to superhero-wise in, in the coming months? I mean, like, what is your big... What has got you? What's got you a superhero boner right about now? Hmm. Oh well, you put it that way. Nothing, but things I'm looking forward to. Captain America, definitely. Yeah. I think is my my it next big one. It ain't Victor Guardians. Stone, I'll tell you that. No, Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. I'm looking forward to as long as it's not like the Easter egg quality of Thor two, right, which yeah. was horrific. <laughs> you know, I'm not. So what you're saying is you're looking for that quality that we found in that leaked footage. The leak footage had better quality than the Easter egg of Thor. Right. So, or Thor, sorry, Thor 2. I mean, you know, I was going to say, that scene with Benicio Del Toro playing the Collector was, eh, it was okay. The Collector. <laughs> Stop! You, you beat me to it! <laughs> the Collector. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I don't know about Guardians of the Galaxy. I never really followed Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, I, I think the raccoon always turned me off, and I'm worried that that's gonna that's gonna ruin it. Well, Bradley Cooper's doing the voice of the raccoon. I know, but it's a raccoon. It's a raccoon carrying a gun. Come on. You gotta you gotta read the the graphic novels, the uh, Annihilation graphic novels to appreciate Rocket Raccoon. So, so you, you think it's gonna be good? You, you think you're getting good vibes from it? I'll I'll give it a chance. I I don't see why it wouldn't be good. It's Marvel and Disney, so. Yeah, I mean, I was really surprised with Thor. I I didn't think I was gonna like Thor. Like, I love Thor as a comic. Um, I, matter of fact, that was one of my that was one of the comics I collected for years. Um, uh, back when he had like the Elven Wars and and um, you know, the, like when Thor cast a death spell and killed Loki, which was awesome. And it's like, wait a minute, Thor can cast spells? Well, yeah, he's a god. Um, so I I really I was really into Thor as a comic, but when they were gonna when they said they were gonna make a movie out, I was like, there's no way it's gonna work. It's gonna be so dumb. And I was pleasantly surprised. I I think Thor was been the, both the movies were good. Yep. So I'm oh, hoping, yeah. you know I'm pretty hopeful uh, that you know Marvel's able to keep keep up the momentum they've had because I mean they haven't made any bad movies in a while. Um, the Wolverine I don't. That's not Disney though, right? That's was that no, Fox. That, that's Fox. Fox. I thought Wolverine Origins stunk, but I thought the Wolverine was awesome. Mm-hmm. Um. So so I'm I'm kind of looking forward to, to yeah, some of the stuff. Because they based off of a good book. What, hey, what about what about this uh, this new X Men? Days of Future Past. Yeah. I, I got I'm mixed actually feelings. Stuck. Got mixed I, feelings. I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit excited. I'm waiting. Here's the thing. I'm a little bit excited for it because we know what's going to come next, mm -hmm. which is Apocalypse. Apocalypse, right. That's why. I'm like, okay, so we get a little intro to Apocalypse maybe. But It's how, it's how do they present Apocalypse is the, is the thing. It's like the, the Sentinels are already looking pretty bad. It's like, please don't let them ruin Apocalypse too. I don't think they will. I mean, mm -hmm. you saw what they did with, with the effects when they did like uh, Thanos at the end of Avengers. They yeah, but it's a different, different studio, though. Yeah. Different yeah. Studio. So, so we'll yeah. see. I mean, the one thing that's a little disappointing is I found out that in um, age uh, the uh, future days of future past days of future past. My brain fried on me. Um, it's not Kitty Pride traveling through time. It's Wolverine. And I'm a little disappointed in that because it just seems like the studio, oh, Wolverine's the big hot commodity. Everybody loves Wolverine, so we're going to use him as the pivotal character in this one. It's really Kitty Pride really comes out in this as a, as a major character in the X-Men. I mean, this is when she really got, uh, I think she kind of got her, her, I don't know, chops on this, she, you know. She became like a really well, major character. She got her mutant her mutant legs. <laughs> I mean, she'd done stuff in the X-Men before, but she'd always been kind of a bit character. But I think 
because uh, they never really used her a whole lot. But I think she really got some, um, I don't know, got her got her legs on this one. I mean, what do you think, Jay? I I think she should have been in it. So, I mean, I, the idea of Wolverine being the the key when he's, I don't know. Uh, as, well, as there there is one thing like, to add to that. What's that? Um, you know they cut Rogue out of the movie. Yeah. Uh, Cause she only had like a five minute clip, a small clip, and they just went, "Fuck it, cut it." Yeah, cause mm. she's she's too busy with her, uh, and she she's the same actress doing the Sookie Stackhouse stuff, right? Yeah, True Blood. True Blood. Yeah. I think it's a better. I think it's a better vehicle for her anyway. I think they kind of boned her in uh in X Men. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for Guardians of the Galaxy with ponies. God, all all the innuendo we said with just Days of Future Past. Kitty Pride getting her legs into it. Fuck it, cut it, and then. Yeah. But so, so Jay, your 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 big thing, your Guardians of the Galaxy. Definitely. More than Age of Ultron, or if you had to choose. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, Until, I got it, I got something else too. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, Jay. I finish up. No, go ahead. My wife's gonna kill me. I'm totally keeping her out. Okay. Okay. Well, let's. Wrap I got. Up. I got one more thing. This is my breaking news, okay? And I'm going to screen share this, and uh, this is something new that's coming out next month. And uh, I'm just, like, super gay. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Oh, yeah. my effing God. Yeah, oh, my I saw God. That. All right, so for now, those now, of you listening on the audio podcast. Now, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this is the Simpsons house, Lego Simpsons house. and it's The Lego badass. Simpsons house is coming out. Now, yep. Took what you're seeing, enough. what we're seeing right now, t- totally, is the front of the house. Big, you got the garage lifted up. There's actually a pink car you build. It's a two hundred dollars set. You can actually order it. I- am I still on? Yeah, you're still on. Yeah. Go. Okay, all right. You can still you can order this pre-order for three hundred dollars, but it's going to be a two hundred dollars set. Okay, and if you'll watch carefully, this is the inside of the freaking house. Okay, no, it no. actually opens up like a freaking dollhouse. Wow. Okay. And there's uh, different rooms that you can act, you build, and you can actually, you know, well, get the no. fuck out of here. Look at you the windows play. and stuff. It's badass. Piano. I know, right? They got the Simpsons house t- to the T, to the letter. They got. They even have a little radioactive man comic book. And a crusty the clown picture on the wall. Yep. They're lore. They got everything. Everything in the Simpsons South house. Bit my tongue. Anyways, but yeah, they they got everything. <laughs> yep. Now nice. I will post a Property link. Property Ned Flanders. Oh my god, that's great! <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> I'll post a link. I'll post a link in the show notes, uh, and it'll there'll be a video um, that's from Lego that they were talking about how they actually. Um, molded all these 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 um, guys and stuff. It's really fascinating. Oh, and and just so you guys know, anyone listening to this or seeing this right now or watching this encore, uh, Mike is going to be taking care of the show notes from here on out. So he's going to be posting actual posting show notes. So once this is done, he'll go back to the, where we store the video and he'll put show notes in that entry. And what I need you to do, Brian, is even if you have stuff you wanted to, if you're not going to save it, if you're just going to trash it anyway. Let me have it, and we'll just post it as extra stuff. But I need your links of any of the stuff that you're, you know, you want to cite for yeah. any of the stuff you showed. So, and of course, Jay, we'll link tonight. all your stuff. Make sure you give them a drive-through link and all that good garbage. <laughs> all that, all that crap, all that crap. But so, um, just so before we conclude, um, I don't know if you got my text message, Peter, but because uh, I know you said we might have. We might need to get more guests by the 27th, yes, I got two weeks from now. Yep. So what I might do is if if things plan out right, um, for all you anime fans out there, we might have guests from Funimation on our show. Sweet. An ADR director and a voice actress. Nice. So finger, fingers crossed. Hopefully things will go out. Mm. Now let me check the chat and see if Cosmo's freaking out. No, he's not freaking out. Cosmo, you disappoint me. I'm well, getting people from yet. Funimation on the show. He might not remember it. There's that delay. Wait for it. Let's wrap it up. Let let poor Renee go to sleep. Thanks, yeah. Jay, for being on the show. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for having me, guys. Thanks for putting up with all of our technical bullshit that did not go over well tonight. We should also thank our fans for yeah. <laughs> hanging in there. 
Definitely. Thanks, thanks, guys, for hanging in there. Um, and and if you missed and the show tonight, uh, if you were here, if you were in the chat room, and you were watching, and you missed the show tonight. I'm really sorry. I, I don't know what the heck happened. Like I said, we're gonna, I'm going to take some screenshots of my settings tonight uh, before I close this down. So if I lose them again, I'll have them. Uh, and if you if you weren't in the chat room, hey, there goes Mike. There goes Mike yep. again. Mike has got a really crappy connection tonight. Man, he he almost sounded like the bad guy from the first Tron movie, the guy. <laughs> right. But <laughs> the you know, master computer. Check out everything's Mythwits. You know, Mythwits.com. That's where we have our show. That's where we post all kinds of links, and, and we you know we update frequently. The Facebook page. You can check out Studio187.com for more information about other stuff that we do at Studio187.com. Um, Mike, you want to try this again? No. Okay. <laughs> Make it's sure. gone. The moment's gone. Hold on, M Mike. You gotta finish it. Finish it. The meltdown. Oh, okay. These hands. <laughs> These so hands. So strong. <laughs> I, I couldn't save them. <laughs> <coughs> so. <laughs> Go and buy all of Jay Libby's stuff, all the stuff for Dilly Green Bean Games on Drive Through RPG and RPG Now. Uh, he makes really, really awesome stuff. And keep in touch with him on Facebook uh, for Dilly Green Bean Games. Uh, he'll keep you updated. He posts on a regular, regular basis. And we hope to see more of him on the show. Uh, he's going to be putting together some more videos for us, I think, and maybe a couple bits. So... And post more on Facebook, damn it. You're just, you're just absent there, yeah, you're, man. You're lacking. <laughs> you're but... slipping, Jay. <laughs> But that's it. That's another episode of the Mythwits. Thank you guys. Thank you, Jay. Talk to you all real soon. Thank you.